Hey everybody, this is Matt Dickman of Techno Marketer, and this is another edition of Inside Out. Today we're going to take a look at the social media monitoring tool, Radiant 6. Radiant 6 has just gone through uh, kind of a, a feature enhancement update, so I think it's a prime time to give you a tour. Uh, this is a tool that you see mentioned uh, across the blogosphere, I think mainly because it is uh, affordable and it is accurate and it's actually pretty easy to use. So I'm going to give you a, just a quick look at what the tool does, what it allows you to do from a marketing perspective, and give you a look at some of the, enhancement that, the enhancements that they've put in place. So the first thing when you come into the tool, what you have to do is set up a profile. And within that profile, you set up keywords. So for this test, I've done a profile on my own name, uh, so it's looking for Matt Dickman, it's looking for a techno marketer in, a, in various forms of spelling. It's looking for at Matt Dickman, which is my, uh, the Twitter handle. So that it's hopefully going to find everything that's out there. So some of these different widgets and all of this um, on these dashboards you can move around uh, do different things. So the first one is uh, a tag cloud. And basically what this does is it takes the feeds, so once you put in all of those profile keywords, it goes out and looks for everything that's related to that and pulls back basically a starting data set. From that data set, what it's doing is looking at uh, what the top keywords are in there. So you can see, you know, techno marketer is pretty big, Facebook, uh, Dickman, social, business, listening. Uh, the cool thing about this is that it can give you an, some insights into popular t phrases, terms, that you may not be looking for already. So, you know, here we can look at, you know, uh, digital, which I would, I would assume that it would pull back. Um, but what you can do is you can open up a river of news, which shows you all of those digital posts that formed this keyword. Um, so, you know, each instance of digital you can see here. Uh, you can go kind of scroll down the list. It pulls in messages from Twitter. It pulls in blog posts, message boards, uh, and forums, that type of thing. <clears throat> uh, what you can do is look at kind of your top 10. So it'll show you uh, by, um, uh, by their influence. And I'll show you how influence is calculated in a second. And you can also do workflow. And workflow is pretty cool. Workflow in this version is much more powerful. I think that Radian has taken what they've learned from working with big businesses like Dell, and they finally put this into a level where everybody can use it. Um, what's cool though is that you can um, basically assign this to a team member. So there, you can have team members that are inside your system. <clears throat> you can um, review the content. You can recommend follow up. You can await reply. It's basically a way to start managing comments. And I'll show you how the comments work in just a second. Um, you can have an audit trail. You can tone sentiment um, if you want to tone sentiment because. Uh, when machines try to do that, which is basically, you know, is, is this thing positive or negative, it's going to take a person to really do that well. And you can tone sentiment inside the system pretty, pretty easily. Um, so there are a couple other different widgets. This one is the overall river of news. So this is every news item that's coming in in the past 30 days that match my keywords inside my profile. Uh, you can do the same thing here. You can look at top 10 uh, posts and workflow. Um, so you can see all of the different items over here. You can also take this river in a new um, uh, system and you can rearrange it. So you can rearrange by uh, Twitter following. So here's the most the people who have the most following, you know, Jim Krukel up on top. Um, and it shows you who has the most influence, well, not influence, but the most fi fan base, follower base on Twitter. Uh, so it's just a different way to look at everything. And it shows you those numbers right in here. You know, following 9,500 followers, 8,600, just gives you a really kind of easy way to do this all in one place and not have to bounce out to Twitter, then come back. Um, so that's the river of news. There's also this influencer dashboard, um, which looks at a couple of different things. It looks at sentiment, which, uh, like I said, you can hand tone positive, negative, or neutral uh, within the system, and then you can sort by that later, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, but it also looks at on-topic posts. So for each blog that it's looking at, how many of those posts are on-topic? 
Um, you have total comments, so you can see what's really driving the engagement there. You can see on-topic comments, so it's not just somebody talking about whatever. It's somebody staying really true to what the topic is. Um, you can look at the unique commenters, average engagement, uh, which is just looking at unique commenters divided by total comments, so it's kind of your unique engagement. Um, inbound links, total inbound links, these are on topic and total. Uh, vote counts, you know, if, if you've got delicious and dig, that kind of information being pulled in. And forum replies, there aren't, there aren't any really forums in here. But what you can do, this is pretty cool, is come in, let's say we want to look at, um, this is Matt Collier. So we can take the viral garden, which is Mac's blog, and it's going to pull up Mac's social profile. So right within this tool, I can see, um, you know, some some different places where um, he's posted content. Um, you know, you've got you know where his open ID is. You can look down and and get a bunch of different kind of information out of here. Um, you can come across here and look at the on topic posts. So I'm going to click that and pull it up. It's going to pull in. The two most recent, because it's looking at the past 30 days in this regard, two most recent posts that he's had. Um, it gives me a really quick, you know, total votes, how many people have um, added it to Delicious, inbound links, how many people are linking to that. So it really gives you a way to look at a lot of different uh, types of information all in one dashboard, all surrounding topics that you desire and that you set up. <clears throat> the other thing that it does, you can set up alerts within the system. Um, so let me come back here and let's click Facebook. Um, you can also look at topic trends. Um, this is a pretty cool one um, where you can see you know, the, the mentions of Facebook over time. You can take a certain point like this peak. I can click that, open up the river of news and see the total posts that are mentioned in Facebook. So here you have um, a retweet from my Techno Marketer account. Um, someone else's account, you know, and then an actual post. Uh, within each of those, you can see inbound links, followers, following, that kind of thing. Um, so it's all in one place, which is very, very cool. It makes it very efficient from a marketing perspective. Um, you can export the data by clicking this bar graph on any chart um, or any set of data, any type of information. You want to take it offline and analyze it somewhere else. The other thing that it does when you have an alert <clears throat> is it sends you an email. You know, This is a sample one from this account. And right in the email, it has a link back to the exact mention, um, how many followers and following if it's in Twitter. Um, if you scroll down, you can see the specific mention within blog posts and a quick link over to that as well, when it was posted, who posted it. Um, so all this information, it's centralizing into one location uh, to make it easier for you to work. And um, I hope you enjoyed that look at Radiant 6. I'm going to try to um, look inside a couple other monitoring tools just to give you an idea of what this landscape looks like. Uh, but it's a, uh, a solid tool that's easy to get into. Um, the guys over there are phenomenal, great support. Um, so if you are looking at listening, I know I talk a lot about listening on the blog. If you're looking at listening, this is a great way to get in, get started for not a lot of upfront, and really have some success there. So that's it for this time. If you have an idea for the next edition of Inside Out, just shoot me an email. It's mattdickman at gmail.com, or you can leave a comment on a post. Thanks a lot and have a great day.